Hello everyone, I am coming with a series lectures of Physics Group 1. My name is Rahul Thakkar and working as an as assistant professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. So this subject Physics Group 1 in Engineering Semester 1 is for Automobile, Civil and Mechanical Branch students. Okay. So before moving forward to the subject content, let us discuss what is physics and what is engineering physics. Okay. So, you might have studied physics till 11, 12 science, okay. Now, you know, it is the most basic science that models and understands the real world, thus it is the root of why other sciences actually work, okay. But we are going to study engineering physics. What is engineering physics? It is an approach to engineering that seeks to understand the common rules of all engineering disciplines. It is not engineering physics, but it is an engineering with physics approach so as to understand why all engineering fields actually work. Let us take examples of students studying in automobile branch and mechanical branch. They want to know the engine's efficiency. What is the efficiency of an engine? What is the output of the engine? How much kilowatt power does an engine generate? For that, they must know the calorific value of the fuel that they are supplying to the engine. So that calorific value is a physical quantity. So that is why the physics is the root of all engineering disciplines. Now, let us discuss, do you like physics or not? Okay. So if your answer is no, then you truly believe in memorizing instead of understanding. Your nature is that you memorize and mug up everything instead of understanding the why the physical science or physical things actually work. But if your answer is yes, then you must understand the things the whole time, the re logic and the law reasons behind that thing, you understand that. But either or, if you are in engineering, physics is for you. Okay, And if you are determined to understand why things really work, then physics is for you. Okay. So let us discuss the physics group one. There are main, basically five modules as you can see on the screen, which we are going to discuss in the lecture series of physics group one. The first module is properties of matter. So you might know the properties such as a stress, strain, ductility, brittleness, plasticity, elasticity, working stress, factor of safety, which you have studied up to 12th. Now, with that logic behind this everything, we are going to dis uh, derive an equation for depression of a cantilever beam subjected to the various loading condition and derive the equation of torsional pendulum viscosity and comparison of viscosities for different materials. Another module is wave motion and acoustics. So you might have studied simple harmonic motion, damped harmonic motion. You might be knowing the basic difference between simple harmonic motion and damped harmonic motion. That is in simple harmonic motion, the amplitude remains constant and in damped harmonic motion, amplitude reduces gradually. Okay. So we are going to study and derive the equation of various uh, physical quantities associated with this. And lastly, we are going to study about the sound absorption and reverberation. And thereafter, we are going to discuss about the acoustics of building. Okay. Acoustics means nothing but it is a branch associated with study of sound. Okay. Third module is ultrasonic and NDT. So ultrasonic and non-destructive testing in that module, you might be knowing about ultrasonic. What is ultrasonic? The sound which has a frequency greater than 20 kilohertz is ultrasonic sound. Okay. So we are going to study various properties of ultrasonic sound production of ultrasonic waves okay that can be done by two methods that is piezoelectric method and magnetostriction method thereafter we are going to discuss, uh, study 
about the detection of ultrasonic sound how to detect ultrasonic sound there are basically four methods in that and lastly but not the least that is the application of ultrasonic sound okay you might know the ultrasonic sound uh, there many there are many applications of ultrasonic sound one of them is sonar that might be known to you okay uh, there is another application such as ultrasonic welding ultrasonic cleaning and ndt one of the major and most important application in mechanical engineering is ndt ndt stands for non destructive testing it means to it is a testing method by which without cracking any object without destructing it you can test what is the fault there inside okay that can be done by ultrasonic sound okay next module is superconductivity so superconductors are the material that offers zero resistance at certain temperature and thus they offer a infinite current that phenomena is known as a superconductivity so we are going to study about the properties of uh, superconductor and mechanism of superconductivity okay in this context now the last chapter or last module is lasers laser stands for light amplification by the stimulated emission of radiation so in this chapter or in module we are going to study about principles of lasers and types of lasers you might be knowing about ruby laser and hen lasers helium neon lasers hen stands for helium neon okay and lastly we are going to discuss various applications of lasers okay so that's the syllabus for physics okay thanks for watching